Hi, my name is Jason, and welcome to BC465 Assignment 6 presentation. In this presentation, we'll be talking about KPMG and Carlin, the relationship between the two companies and what had happened to them. KPMG, the accounting firm that was in charge of auditing Carlin. In 2017, KPMG issued an interim result claiming that the company was an ongoing concern. Only five months after the sign-off of the account, Carlin has to file for bankruptcy. The article claims that KPMG was negligent in the audit, failed to detect an overstatement of £845 million worth of assets and £134 million in goodwill. It was estimated that Carlin bankruptcy will cost £148 million of taxpayer money for the government to clean up this mess. Next, we're going to look at the key concept that was taught in class and see how it relates to this article. The four requirements. In Canada, there are four requirements that need to be met in order to find a auditor guilty of negligence. The auditor owns a duty of care to the plaintiff. The auditor breached the duty of care. The plaintiff suffered loss due to the auditor. And causation. There was a clear connection between the plaintiff's loss to the auditor's report. If any of the four requirements are not met, the auditor is not to be found guilty of negligence. So, what is an auditor report? A lot of people have this misconception that a clean auditor report means that the financial health of the company is good. That is usually not the case, and we call that the expectation gap. On this slide, you will see the five different types of auditor report that an auditor will issue. A clean auditor report means that the financial statement is free from any material mistake and is presented fairly. No matter what, there will always be risk that comes with auditing a company. Before actually auditing the company, the auditor will have to determine how much risk that they are willing to take on since the auditor have no control over the company's internal control and the nature of the business. What the auditor can do is to look for more audit evidence to lower the risk of not detecting material misstatement. Although the auditor can do everything right, they will not guarantee any financial statement that is 100% free from material misstatement. And this concludes our presentation for today. Thank you for your time and I wish you a wonderful day.